Hey everybody, welcome back to Watch and Carry. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a dual deployant clasp. Uh, now a dual deployant clasp attaches usually to the shorter end of a uh, watch strap. And the whole purpose of there uh, is usually two things. Number one, to make it a little bit more convenient for you to put on your watch uh, without having to uh, remember uh, which size hole uh, usually goes for your size of wrist. And number two, also just to preserve the condition of the leather because of the decreased amount of stress it places on the leather strap when putting it on your wrist. So for example, let's uh, take a typical watch strap like this one here. Uh, this is, by the way, a Lenvino LeChronos watch in black. It's a mechanical wind and I have it on this really nice uh, Zarek 20 millimeter strap in brown. Okay, now from the factory, uh, the Zarek strap comes with the uh, typical buckle here. Very nice buckle, very well made, but this is what happens with most watch straps when you put them on. So you'll put the watch on like this, you'll turn it over, you'll insert the longer end into the buckle, and then usually what you'll do is you'll find that hole that kind of makes it pretty well fitting on your wrist, and then you'll kind of pull the watch strap in this direction to kind of put that projection through the hole, and then set it through and then reattach the uh, keepers into the longer end of that watch uh, strap to keep it nice and neat. Okay, so uh, what happens here is sometimes, you know, if you're in a hurry, you might not remember which hole you put this on into, and then you do all this and you find out, oh, it's too loose or it's too tight, and so then you have to pull up again on the leather. So it's, you know, a little inconvenient, not really that big a deal, but the biggest thing here is that every time you crank down on this leather, you're essentially pulling it against a metal buckle. And you can see here, I've only done this probably 10 times on this brand new strap. I'm already putting a crease um, in that leather right there. You can kind of see where the end of my thumb is, right? And so uh, what you can kind of do to prevent you from having to do um, all this wear and tear on the leather strap is really just change the mechanism of the buckle itself. So here is a dual deployant clasp. This one is made by a company called Recher. I ordered this off of Amazon. Uh, it cost me about $11 shipped. And um, uh, this one is spelling it incorrectly. So if you ever go to a watch forum and you say deployment, uh, you'll have some of the uh, you know snobby watch people really jump down your throat about that. But the proper way to spell it is deployant, uh, D-E-P-L-O-Y-A-N-T. Okay, so uh, you can order this in a number of sizes and a number of different finishes because the case on this is a matte uh, black. I chose to have a matte black finish on this. Now, when it comes to sizing this, you obviously need to choose, uh, this is how it looks. Okay, so let's take this protective tape off. So there is the clasp. This end will attach to this end of the buckle, uh, basically like that. So obviously you need to uh, choose the right width, right? Uh, the width of that needs to match the width of this. Now normally the rule of thumb is whatever your lug width is or your band width, you minus two millimeters from that to get the width of this, right? So this is a 20, 20 millimeter uh, band or lug on the watch, which means minus two should make this an 18 millimeter um, uh, spring bar that goes to the end here. So if I measure this out, the end of that watch strap, indeed, you can see that that's 18 millimeters. Okay. Dialed on the brightness here. So that's 18 millimeters. And then on my watch, a dual deployant here, it is, um, 18 millimeters as well, okay? So that's how you kind of want to size it. Again, uh, if you are unable to measure your watch buckle end uh, in advance, uh, let's say you ordered a strap and you're waiting for it to be delivered, but you want to order this at the same time, if you want to risk it, the rule of thumb is your lug width or your band width minus two millimeters. Not a hard and fast rule, but in my experience, uh, that's usually what I find. Okay, so now that we've got our dual deployant here, okay, let's see how it works. So um, what happens here is uh, this end again goes to one part of the strap. This other part will also attach to the uh, whole end of this part, 
okay? And then you bring the two ends of the watch together, of the watch strap together like this, click it, and there you go. Now you're kind of locked into place. And then to uh, undo this, you uh, push on one button here and another button here at the same time, and you release that dual deployant, okay? And then here's a look at that uh, brushed matte finish in black from Recher. Okay, so let's uh, get this attached. So we'll flip our watch over. And for this, uh, depending on the way this is attached, you can see here that I have a small hole here. So you can take a, a lug removal tool that has a pointy end, okay, cylindrical pointy end, and you just kind of push down on that. And then as you're pushing down, um, move the uh, buckle out of the way, and then that'll expose the spring bar right there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and push that spring bar out. Okay, this one is pretty stiff, so there we go. Okay, and because we have a brand new spring bar on our other watch, we can uh, set that to the side. Now this part here, we don't need, okay. Um, and then we'll go ahead and attach our dual deployant. So our watch is upside down, so that means you wanna turn your uh, dual deployant clasp upside down as well. To get at this uh, spring bar here, take a uh, flat end or the fork end of your dual deployant, of your uh, lug removal tool, kind of pry back to expose it like that. Take this spring bar, insert it through, just like that. And then you'll just reinsert it back into the uh, holes of that dual deployant. Okay, and then once you think it's in, usually you can hear a click, go ahead and manipulate it, give it a little jiggle, just to make sure it's, it's secure, obviously. The worst thing that could happen is you think it's in there and it's really not. You wear the watch and it falls off your wrist and you damage your watch. So just give it a little jiggle there. Okay, now what we're going to do is size this up. So you will open up this part of the dual deployant. Okay, for the Recher, the way this works is you just kind of pry up. Okay, some of these um, ends on other dual deployants have buttons here that you can push on the side to lift up this one. You just kind of lift up the way it is. Okay, like that. Okay, and then we will run the longer part of the strap inside. So we'll put it there. Kind of run it through. And for me, I know already from using the buckle that I am on the third hole from the top. So I will put the clasp there. And then once you think you got it in line, you'll line up that little tooth at the bottom of the clasp. You'll push it through the hole. Okay, you can see there it is, it's popping up. And then once it's in line, you click this top portion down. Okay, so now it's locked in place. And so this, uh, assuming you get the wrist size correct, is, is all the adjustments you're going to need. You're not going to have to play around with sizing this or cranking down on the leather anymore. So now what I'll do when I um, take this out to wear it is I will put this over my wrist simply in the open position. And then what I like to do is I like to uh, loosely close uh, both ends like this, so without clicking it yet, right? So I, I bring one end down here, but I don't click it down, and then I bring the other end like this, and then in the process of bringing, bringing the other end over, I already try to insert it into one of the keepers, okay? The keepers are these two parts right here. So I try to insert it already into the keepers like that. And then once it's inside the keepers, I go ahead and push on this side, and I push on this side. So you should hear two clicks or a simultaneous click of both the right side and the left side. And then now it's inserted onto my wrist, okay? And so the reason why I like to loosely put on the uh, strap into the keepers first before clicking it is, you know, had I done it the other way, let's say I go ahead and click it down this way and click this down this way. Now I have to pull back on this leather and you can see the stress that puts on the leather to put it through the keepers, right? So I can avoid all that by attaching it loosely, not clicking it in. It takes a little bit longer, but you know, it preserves the condition of the leather. And then inserting the longer end of the strap first into those keepers. It, it helps to put the watch face down on a soft surface while doing this. 
And then now that it's in, push it down like that. Everyone's gonna have their own personal taste. I try to put the least stress available on my strap because these straps are not cheap. This one's about 60 bucks, okay? And that's it. So that's a dual deployment. Again, dual because you have two sides moving into a uh, clasp into each other. So besides the decreased stress that you're placing on that wristband on, on the uh, leather, like I showed you, the other benefit too is let's say I'm getting ready to put the watch, the, the watch back in my case. So I'll go ahead and uh, take out the uh, pillow for this. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, take the watch off. So to take it off, we'll click on both sides, gently lift up. Okay. And assuming you have the right size pillow, you can go ahead and just reinsert this back onto the pillow. And it's already pre-sized there. I don't have to guess which hole it is. It's already there. And then when it comes time to wearing it, double click here, put it on the wrist. Put this down and through. So it's a little bit tricky to get it through the keepers um, before clicking it. So uh, <laughs> just have to get used to it. And then perfect, it's already sized. I don't have to guess which, uh, which hole uh, on the strap I need to go into. Okay, so really short video. Um, I use these on all my watches that have leather straps. It just makes it easier to wear, um, easier on the leather, and um, also adds a little bit of um, aesthetics to the watch. You know, you can match the clasp uh, to the watch uh, because these clasps come in a variety of colors, okay? Now, uh, in terms of security, some people have asked me, um, you know, does it ever fall off? You know, especially if you're moving your wrist back and forth, you could accidentally hit this button. Uh, I've never had that issue because you need to push both this button and this button to release it, so I've never had it come loose on my wrist. Um, number two, people said, how is the comfort? You know, you have these teeth here, does it dig into your wrist? For me, uh, every now and then if I'm, you know, uh, doing a certain movement with my hand where I have to bend or flex, sometimes I'll notice it, but it's really very minuscule, nothing very bothersome. I've never had it pinch my skin or cause any kind of uh, pressure points. Um, is there any other benefit besides the preservation of the leather and the ability to put on your watch uh, quicker? Uh, the other thing I can think about is that it's just... Um, I guess a little bit more stable, I guess. So, you know, if for some reason your buckle was to fail on the traditional buckle, I don't know how this would happen, but let's say the spring bar holding this buckle came off and then now your watch, your two watch straps are no longer attached and that means your watch could fall down. Well, in this case, let's say um, that uh, I accidentally pressed these two buttons. Well, okay, if I did that, then it would open, but it would still be attached to my wrist. Uh, it's kind of a benefit, uh, you know, really, if this thing fell off here, this thing, I would also have the same problem as the buckle. So I don't think it adds any more security. It just helps to preserve the leather a little bit more. Okay. Uh, so again, these are sold in completely different colors, uh, different sizes. Uh, Recher is the brand that I've always used, but you can order uh, different um from different manufacturers as well, but uh, so far I really like it. Uh, the longest leather band that I've used it with is about, uh, I would say about three years old, and uh, I've worn this watch quite a bit. I do take care of my leather straps and um, recondition them, you know, uh, once every two or three months, so I do take care of them, but you can see here that this leather strap, which is about two years old, uh, through continuous use, is still doing well and very a uh, few signs of wear and tear on the strap where usually you would see creases here. Uh, you don't really see that many uh, because of this dual deployment. Okay. All right, guys. So that'll do it for today's video. Any comments or questions or suggestions, please put them down below. And as always, have fun and I'll see you guys on the next one.